out with so many different names for sugar, it can be easy to overlook. Now, can you tell us a little about the differences in the types of sugar that we consume? Uh, what do some of these names mean? So this is a list of some of the many names that are out there for sugar. Mm -hmm. I think that this is helpful for us to, in the big picture, know that there are tons of names for sugar. There are lots of hidden sugars, added sugars. Mm. Um, specifically in this list, some of these are natural occurring sugars okay. um, that we see in fruits. Some of these are synthetic or man-made sugars. Um, some of these are derivatives. Um, so there are lots of different types, but sugar is sugar after all. Yes, so whether it's uh, artificially made or not it's just well you recommend the artificially you shouldn't even have in your diet yeah we usually recommend you know it's first of all you want to be very careful about how much sugar you have right. in your diet and then you know and in, in the journey to try and improve your sugar intake sometimes you may need to use artificial sweeteners to kind of help you towards a healthy dietary goal mm -hmm. um, so you know the goal is to have you know as we were talking about earlier up to about six teaspoons of sugar per day and then understanding that's a process and a journey it's not going to happen you know overnight as a physician dr Dr. Sharma, what are the long-term effects of having a high sugar diet? What do you see in your patients? So typically having excessive sugars does result in conditions, obvious conditions such as diabetes. Um, this is not healthy for your organs, including the tiny little vessels in the kidney, the brain, the eyes, mm -hmm. as well as the bigger vessels. It's not healthy for the liver, the pancreas, the organs of the kidney. Right. So certainly there are a lot of conditions that result. Um, we worry most about diabetes and prediabetes right. in primary care.